Yo, it's your boy DJ Irie, straight out of Miami, and you are about to experience my life as a DJ. Check it out. I grew up between Miami and Jamaica. Uh, my parents were very, very serious about me having a Jamaican education. Even though we were living in Miami, so I went to boarding school in Jamaica. Uh, turned out to be one of the best things ever because that's where I really, really fell in love uh, with DJing and I found my passion for music. Uh, my roommate was actually Sean Henriquez, who you may know him today as Sean Paul, uh, Grammy-winning uh, reggae artist. Um, that was my high school homie. We did a lot of music together in high school. We still remain really tight friends today. Um, and I was always you know, surrounded by, by music, by people that were always influencing me with my musical career. Uh, I was introduced to music at a very, very early age. You know, my parents uh, are all about music. Um, in our household, we didn't even have a TV room. We had a music room. And right now, let's play some good! If it was a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon, um, we'd actually get together and uh, go to the music room and listen to, you know, Bob Marley and the Wailers, you know, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye. Um, and I just fell in love with, you know, that whole genre and style of music. I fell in love with, with records, with vinyl, and uh, it stayed with me. I first started DJing like a good, like, like a good 13, 14 years now. Um, funny thing about it is I started out by collecting records. You know, I was a, a record connoisseur, <laughs> you know. Um, I love the sound of the record, uh, the snap, crackle, pop, and um, you know I kind of fell into the DJing thing because uh, I wanted to impress a girl. Believe it or not, um, I had literally uh, by the time I was graduating from high school a collection of probably a good 2,000 records uh, where I had in my my bedroom. I'll describe myself as a person. Uh, first and foremost, I'd use the word passionate. Uh, anything I approach, uh, I approach it with passion. Um, it's not something that I truly believe in, in my heart, um, and something that no matter what the outcome was, uh, even if there was no reward at the end, I would still want to do it. Those are the kind of things that I do. Uh, if I'm not passionate about it, I don't want to do it. And when I look at my life and look at my career, and I look at what I've done in my DJ career, I look at uh, you know what I've done when I said, hey, I want to give back to my community and my charitable efforts. Um, and I look at the level that we do these things. Um, I think we do it at those levels because I'm passionate about it. You know, so if there's one word that really describes me is definitely passionate. Um, you know, outside of that, uh, I'm someone that is extremely personable. I love meeting new people. Um, I love learning. I'm like a sponge. You know, I definitely can never learn enough. Um, I think I learn something new every single day because I keep my eyes and ears open. Um, and you know, besides that, I'm, I'm extremely grateful and thankful uh, to be here doing what I do. Um, 
you know, I, I hail from the Caribbean, um, but I've been living in Miami now since I was pretty much two. You know, I travel all over the world, and there's no other city uh, that I'd rather be in than Miami, Florida. Beautiful, gorgeous people, beautiful, gorgeous beaches, uh, the nightlife. You really can't beat it. It's an amazing place. You know, a lot of people ask me sometimes, um, what are you gonna start with? <laughs> Do you know what you're gonna play tomorrow? Uh, no, I have no idea. <laughs> um, you know, what determines what song you know I start with or, or what my set's gonna be like is is the room. You know, it's the people. You never know who's going to be there. You never know what the vibe is. You never know what the energy is going to be like. Um, I walk into, whenever I go, when I go uh, to DJ to, to, to perform, um, you know, I show up with a clean slate. You know, my mind is just a big sponge, and what I'm soaking up is, is the room. I'm soaking up, you know, the energy, the vibe, and then I feed off of the energy and that vibe, and that's what gives me the inspiration to play the music that I play, you know, so I usually figure out what I'm going to play about, you know, a couple minutes before I actually jump in on the turntables. Well, having the crowd engaged uh, and into what you're doing, that's everything. Um, you know, I'm the kind of person where, I'm the kind of DJ that, you know, there's nothing that is uh, predetermined about my performance, you know. If I know I'm going to play a certain venue, um, I have no clue, no idea what I'm going to play because I don't know the energy. I don't know the vibe, you know, and you don't know that until you actually walk into the room, you know. Uh, so I walk into a room and kind of feel out the vibe, kind of get the energy, and that's exactly what dictates where I go musically, you know. Um, it would be great, you know, just to do what I do for myself. I love it. I can, I can DJ in my bedroom every day, all day, you know? But that's exactly what I'd be doing if it wasn't for the energy that I get and the feedback that I get when performing live. It's the best feeling ever because you're taking them on a journey. You're the maestro. You're the maestro for the evening, you know? Uh, when, you're, when I'm behind those turntables, I don't feel any different from a Jay-Z, from a Lady Gaga, from whatever, because you know what? Just like how they rock and do their performance, you know, for two hours, three hours, whatever it is, guess what? I rock, I do my performance for two, three, four hours, whatever it is, and I'm gonna control the crowd, I'm gonna take them where I wanna go, and I'm gonna give them something to remember. It's all about that feedback, it's all about the energy. Moving the crowd is everything in this business. It's your boy DJ Ari. We did it real big. We did it on the golf course, on the rooftop. We took it to the club. Man, we hit the streets. And right now, we wrapped it up right here on the ocean. We did it big. Welcome to my life as a DJ. Next time, we'll be flying high. And make sure you check me out, myspace.com slash DJ Ari.